We are actually still doing a Fright Fur Fusion Fluffle Edge Imp deck for a whole month. We are running towards the end. There's like five, four more days left of the month. And where are you sitting? Well, we're actually sitting at Diamond 1, which means we've mastered Diamond. But can the deck get into Master? That is the question. So I'm currently on a four win streak. We're two wins away from Master rank. Now, that seems impressive, but I've been here earlier this week i think it was and then i ranked down back into diamond two and i've managed to get back up again back to here so i've changed the deck ever so slightly since that but in total what do i think of a second turn fright for deck going against today's meta uh it's really hard it is really really hard um because this deck is cool at what it does, but it does one thing. You get out your fusion monsters, you destroy some monsters and cards on your opponent's side of the field, and you hopefully attack the game, and you kind of want to end the duel on that turn. Uh, and if that doesn't happen, it's kind of bad. But I like the randomness of this, where because the opponents typically have not gone against this before, they don't know what to, to Ash Blossom, what to do against certain things. Um, they'll forget about some effects in the graveyard, like the few times I've had Edge Imp Scythe. They haven't noticed it. Um, they tend to Ash Blossom Toy Vendor because they're insane and they don't read the card. So I'll like, use Toy Vendor to dump Edge Imp Chain in the graveyard. They'll negate this. I'm like, okay. And then I'll use Edge Imp Chain to add Fright Fur Patchwork and then I'll just pop off. But I, I think Board Breakers are so essential for this going second build because... You're letting your opponent go first. Even if you win the coin flip, you're like, all right, you can go first. And they build a huge, massive board. And like your only ways of dealing with it are hopefully Maxi in. Maxi hardly ever resolves because you get an Ash Blossom cross out, called Bide or anything like that. But that's fine. You're getting rid of one card. You're hopefully Nibiruing their field to make it smaller. So you just have one card you need to deal with. And then you're hopefully getting Droplets. Uh, Slayer, which is a new addition to this. And I've recently added in Call by the Grave. Why? Because Snake Eyes is insane. Snake Eyes is so broken. Like, they build a board. You break that board. Their board comes back and they add loads of stuff. So they're ready for the next turn. And then after you've broken the board as well. Keep in mind, there's stuff in the graveyard that comes back. I'm talking about Fire Princess. And it'll pop a card. And then when you deal with Fire Princess, that other Link 4 Fire Monster in the graveyard will pop another card on your field. And that's not accounting if they have like a maxi Ash Blossom called by. It's just, it's too much. It's just too much for my little brain and my little rogue deck. Uh, so if we go against Snake Eyes, there's a 70%, 80% chance we'll lose. But I have beat them. But it's normally come down to they're not that good with the deck. Or they haven't built the most broken board ever. Uh, but at the moment, I don't really like Snake Eyes. I know that happens with every new deck, but... It just does too much, and it's so much to deal with, but we'll find out if we play against it today. But let's quickly go for the deck. Uh, the stuff that you don't need to know about, Maxi, it eats Ash Blossom, and if it resolves, sometimes it can just win you the door. Nibiru, um, it works against quite a few decks. Some decks, obviously, it doesn't work against at all, but it's a nice little monster. And I discovered that if you use Toy Vendor... And you draw uh, Fluffle Penguin, for example, so you can special summon a monster. It actually says you can special summon anything. You can just hard summon a Nibiru to your side of the field, which is kind of cool. Um, what else we got? We've got Triple Tactics Talent. We steal their monsters, which is typically what we go for. And we can get it through Triple Tactics Thrust. Thrust is really good in this deck because it can add you a Patchwork, Foolish Barrel of Goods, Fright for Fusion, Polymerization, um, Triple Tactics Talent. Uh, and Ultimate Slayer. It's really, really good in this deck. So I really recommend Triple Tactics Thrust. I put it from 3 to 2 uh, just to help out. 2 Slayer. Um, because we're going against a lot of Baron de Fleurs. Um, insane Link monsters. Insane Fusion monsters that you just have to deal with. So we've got an Entis for Fusions. A Garura for Fusions. A Wind Pegasus for Synchros. And then for Nixies, I'll just send one of these free. We never make Zeus really in this, but it's always an option that I've sent there. Oh, and for a Link Monster, I, this is new. I was normally just sending Cross Sheep, but I've started sending uh, Tri Brigade Farragit instead to get the draw and then the, the shuffle back into the deck instead. Um, Droplet isn't that bad in this deck. Like, it's a good card, obviously, Droplet. But what I like about this is you can dump Edge Imp Chain or Toy Vendor to the graveyard. 
and you'll get their effects, which is really nice. Plus, you get to negate your opponent's card. Uh, in terms of the Fright Fur Fusion stuff, like, the typical thing you do is you get Polymerization, hopefully a Fluffle Penguin, because you get some draw engine stuff with this, and an Edgent Chain. You fuse those together. You make a Fright Fur Cruel Whale. Hopefully, you've got something in the back row you can pop, or uh, this thing in the graveyard to keep it alive, and you blow up their monsters or whatever. You send the... Uh, Fright Fur Repair to the Graveyard. Because the Edge Imp Chain's gone to the Graveyard, you get to add a card. If you haven't already used Fright Fur Patchwork, then you go for your... Where is it? Fright Fur Fusion. Fright Fur Fusion, you fuse from your Graveyard. There's a few different ways you can win. Um, like a Fright Fur Cruel Whale along with a Kraken on the field. You double... You increase its attack by 1100, so that's 3300. And you can attack twice with this, that's 66. And then you attack with this, and that is game. So that's one way of winning. Or you get Fright Fur Cruel Whale with Fright Fur Wolf, which doesn't come out as much. But when it comes out, sometimes it's really, really good because you can just attack like 10 times. It's won me a few duels. I do like it. Uh, Chimera is a last resort sometimes because um, Fluffle Penguin uh, doesn't trigger unless it's summoned through a, a Fright Fur monster. Uh, and sometimes I'm tempted by Guardian. And I know it lets this lets me draw cards, but sometimes I like to draw through Fluffle Penguin, so it's just the balancing act. Uh, and then everything else, I know I think it's fine. Like Fright Fur Tiger, if you've got a board wipe, you've got a board wipe. Um, if you need to go for the if you've got two polymerizations in your hand and one of your cruel whales or something, you can go for this. And sometimes that can be game. Uh, but that's more or less the thing. Uh, this lets us add polymerization from the deck. This is what lets us go into some of our other Fright Fur monsters. This gets us our most broken card, Toy Vendor. This lets us fuse during the opponent's turn i wouldn't recommend doing that typically unless you have a first turn play uh, and best of all if you have a fluffle penguin that's the only time i ever tend to fuse during the opponent's turn and i know i can interrupt something really big uh toy uh fluffle dolphin is really good because it literally just lets you get the toy vendor on the field along with the fluffle wings so you can draw three cards three cards that's insane um and yeah, and then we just use full Sparrow Gods to send Toy Vendor, or if they've run out, we send Fright for Repair. Okay, so that's more or less everything. Um, I've won some really cool duels recently. Um, this one wasn't that impressive. That wasn't very good. Uh, I was really proud I won against this. They had a Barrier Statue of Torrents, the uh, Flawanderies and Map on the field, along with their boss monster. Where is it? M-Pen. And I managed to win. Uh, I baited some stuff. I took control of M-Pen. I let them keep the barrier statue on the field. And I just made my water link uh, fusion monsters. And then uh, I just popped off with that. And I never normal summoned that whole turn. I was just really glad I won that duel. Because I don't know. I was just impressed. Uh, what did we win over here? Oh, I clapped this. I did, I did well against them. I did well. Um, what else did we have here? Oh, yeah, we played against the, the Sky Striker re deck. Cash Tiro. See, we, I mean, we can beat meta decks. It's possible. Labyrinth, Labyrinth's been doing my head in today, by the way. Uh, okay, so one deck that really hard counters us is Labyrinth, specifically because of the most stupidly broken card in the world. I can't do anything about it. If they set it, there's no way I can win, literally. It's, it's impossible. Dimensional Barrier, I think people know this. It's like one of the most broken, like, floodgates ever. And if you're playing, like, a, a hard fusion synchro or link deck, whatever, I mean, what, what can you do? What can you do? But yeah, that's uh, that's my biggest counter. Snake Eyes we struggle against because it's uh, it's just really, really strong. Uh, Labyrinth, if they play that card, it's too hard for us. Um, the card, what's his name? Dimensional Shifter. I think people have started playing that more because it counters Snake Eyes. And unfortunately, it counters us, which is a bit annoying. So we just have to deal with it. Oh, and the reason that I'm playing Called By now is specifically to counter Snake Eyes. I know it works against, like, Maxi and stuff. But, like, I have to get rid of some of the stuff in their graveyard just to even give myself a chance. It's one of those things. Silver, thank you very much for the 42 months. This is the first stream I've seen since turning 32. Just five days ago. Age is a scary thing. I'm toasting the occasion by drinking a pint of tea. Well, I can cheers you with that one. Cheers, bro. Happy 32nd birthday. I think I'm 32 in a few months as well. Mm. Hey, one more win. 
I believe. <laughs> uh, should we just quickly see what he's playing? Do you think they hard bricked? Do you think it was Mikanko? They were like, uh oh. Oh my god. I mean, they should have cooked us, right? They got quite. A few, they might maybe they opened with triple dark hole, triple herald of the abyss. <laughs> It actually looks like a really bricky deck. Triple DD Crow, Triple Droll and Lotbird, Triple Dark Hole, Triple Herald the Abyss. That's a nutty deck. Okay. I'm not in the own chat. Hello. Hi. I was just doing my little intro thing. Was that his rank up? Oh dear. K60, Mark II. All right, this is our rank up. I saw Ancient Gear Mates, Cyber Dark Dragon, Box, Gear Town Field, Fusion. Everything is pointing towards a Cyber Dragon deck. Interesting. I can't imagine being anything other than Cyber Dragon. Okay, hold on. It is a machine. Gizmek. Okay. If this guy's normal special summon, you can take one machine monster who's... Wait, is that? Like an actual giz. Oh, Infinite Track. I never. What is happening? <laughs> That's so anticlimactic. Oh my god, I didn't even earn it. <sighs> Yay! We're in Master. Wow, we earned that. Gosh, we're good. The power of Fright Fur. Am I right, chap? <laughs> oh, man. I mean, I'm happy. I'd have to worry about, like, rank... Ugh. I don't know. I don't know how I feel. What was that one? Maybe they bricked as well. Holy... Whoa. That's kind of nuts. There was a Cyber Dragon in there. It was Naxta. This is, that's an insane deck. Skill Drain goes in. Bit of this, bit of that. He didn't play, um... He had a Cyber Dragon. He might as well have played a uh, Thingy. Fortress. All right. We're in it. We're in Master. There you go. This is the deck that managed to carry us there. Right first, second turn. Beautiful. You love to see it. Let's see how much further we can go. Can we get to Master 1? Probably not. We'll let me know. Streamer luck. I have, had, I have not had that luck this month. I've had some absolutely insane... Broken duels where I had absolutely no chance. What type of gimmick duel would you like to see Konami ever implement into Mass Duel? Like Dungeon Dice, Labyrinth Duels, Duelist Kingdom, many more? Dungeon Dice. Definitely. Dungeon Dice is so good. It's going to be a YouTube Shorts, right? We share. Yeah. Twitch TV, a fine CR. Ah. Okay. The criteria for my Edge Imp Scythe is met. We have a Fluffle Penguin in hand, and I have a play next turn, so we're going for it. Hop, hop. Hop, hop. I assume this is Labyrinth. Right. Fluffle Penguin first, because he dodges Ash Blossom. Then Krill Will. Let's be pop two cards on the field. I target myself, and this one. Edge Imp Scythe keeps my monster alive. Ooh. Discard one card. What's expendable out of all this? I'm annoyed that it's called by. Imagine throwing called by away. Am I insane? Slayer. Throw Polly away? I've got two of them. I'm not throwing that away. My goodness. Mm. Patchwork first. I was going to normal spell Fluffle Dog, but I'm just worried if he like wipes my field or something. Then I don't actually have anything to fuse. That went well. All right. Fluffy dog. 
I want another Pingu, I think. Yeah. Then again, Sabres? Pingu is tempting. I'm going to go save. I think I can get uh, OTK here. So... Activate polymerization. I do want to wipe these though. Hmm. Uh, it's the it's that card. Now nah, we don't know what we're playing. Now we know it's probably labyrinth, based on this. Oh my god. It might be Floodgate deck. Have like a special summon? Yeah. No, it's Labyrinth. Do you have an effect? Drowning Motion. That can't be activated to turn it's set though, can it? If this card is special summon, you can set one normal trap from your deck that can only be activated when an attack is declared. Okay, but it can't be used this turn. Oh no, I can't link someone. I thought I could. Oh yeah, let's summon limit. <laughs> Good point. I might have thrown this duel. Plus I thought I could turn that into attack for some reason. That was also my folly. Misplaying. Do you think Soulburner's deck is any good in real life? What? Salomon Great? Yeah, it's pretty good. Obviously not as strong as it used to be. Still a good deck, though. Toy Vendor, cool. Cool, cool, cool. All right, two summons. You don't protect back row, do you? Oh. Maybe I'll go for Guardian Chimera instead. No, I'll go for this, because I can destroy two back row with one stone. And again, that would limit him, to be fair. He's finished, Sam. Oh. Oh, it was the... Uh, I thought he'd set the Labyrinth uh, summoning card face down. I don't know why I thought that. I've gone crazy in the brain. I'm going to pop two with Chimera. Could I? Oh! Yeah, you're right. <laughs> uh, I couldn't have popped two, though. I could have popped one with Chimera, surely. Could have been Fossil's Eye. Oh, let's... um. If I remember, we'll look at that deck after. Oh, is that how that works? If you use two monsters in the field, you get to pop two cards. Okay. I've always prioritized two cards in the hand with Chimera for some reason. I don't know why. I probably should read the card properly. 
would make sense. Oh, that makes sense then. This is a nice hand. Let's see how things go. Axel versus Soulburner. Soulburner would probably win. Yeah. Because draw two is OP. Oh, two in hand is draw two. Two on field is pop two. That's actually really cool. Oh. Math, meh. Mech math. Woofed. I guess they can't get rid of both my cards. Uh, if they got the link four, five, whatever it is, we've got Slayer. And Triple Tactics Talent in Triple Tactics Thrust into Talent. If they get rid of. If they get their Xyz on the field and they rip Slayer or Thrust out, we've got one or the other. But Thrust will get negated for the Xyz. Oh, this is going to be an absolute ball ache, this is. Why is the opponent teaching the math with mechs? Because that's the only way we pay attention. Did you, did you try the snake eyes? I played against the snake eyes. I've played against it a lot. You should put your hands together every time you fuse like Sora. You go shotgun! Has to be like here, doesn't it? You go shotgun! Yeah, yeah. Alex tied with the Supreme King. Oh, Axel tied with the Supreme King. How's he losing to Soulburner? Um, I don't know. Soulburner's got the more meta death. Is it Salomon Great Roar, the counter trap that they can keep putting back on the field? Kind of busted. Yu Gi Oh! should do a, a movie where they just take some of the most popular characters from every single series and they all go into a big battle royale. Not a battle royale, like a tournament. And then we can answer these questions. Supreme King versus Soulburner. Kite Tenjo versus Seto Kaiba. Yugi versus Yusei. Taya versus Zark. Pretty uh, disappointed that linear equation cannon is not a math mat card. How disappointing. I remember reading that card's effect. I was like, excuse me? <laughs> I just had an appointment rage quit. An opponent rage quit because I stopped him from synchro spamming with Maxi. I mean, if you're playing a synchro spam deck and 90 something percent of decks are playing uh, Maxi, you probably should have expected a Maxi. Was the most challenging yet rewarding deck to get to Masters? Mm. I mean, Masters hasn't been a, around as long as I've been playing the game. I remember there were some decks I was actually quite, quite glad to get Diamond 1 with when Diamond 1 was the max. I don't remember. Um, I forgot what I've got into Master, uh, master Rank, to be honest with you, out of everything. I think Dark Magician was quite satisfying. The Blue Eyes uh, Dragon Link deck as well. We uh, Master Rank didn't exist with uh, Ancient Gear. Oh, just Max Rank in general. Okay. I don't know then. Kaiju's. Kaiju's Max Rank. That was probably really fun. I like the Kaiju deck. That was fun. Opponent makes a big board, like, big board like this. 
five kaijus in hand, you're like, <laughs> tribute. Well, you wouldn't, you wouldn't want five kaijus in hand, but you know what I mean. Crystal Heart. Because um, the Water Ignis gave it them. Ah, Wall Dragon. Busted. What's nice, your opponent can activate monster effects in response to this card's activation. If they send the spell stopping one, Slayer will stop them from using that in response, which is quite nice. That's quite good. So what does this do? Earth Monsters come to this card. Uh, I guess he gets back uh, Transcode Talker. I guess that makes sense. Our stream is a certain age chatter. <laughs> what? <laughs> is your birthday soon as well? Oh, you're thinking of the other firewall? I am. Oh, yeah, yeah. I've got that mixed up. My bad. Hey, look. Code Talker, boss monster. Wait, access Code Talker on the... Uh... On the first turn? It's going to be a big field. But. I don't know. That's a neat way to proc Singularity. If the monster's card points to its destroyed by battle or sent to the graveyard, it can target one Cybus monster in your graveyard special summon it. And now he's making the other one. Oh no, he's soul. Oh, okay. Bro's gonna have no extra deck. A little bit less life points for me to deal with. Nice. I wish that Singularity was in the final episode. The ultimate firewall dragon. Dark Fluid's cool. I guess this feels more like a boss mon uh, like an ultimate boss monster than Dark Fluid. Even though Dark Fluid's pretty cool. I guess it relies on all the attributes. Okay, now I guess they have a trap that negates. Hold on. Did they add something like that? Oh no no, that's a super factorial face down. Okay. So they've got a hand rip, a monster, and spell get a ridder. -er -er. I'm also under maxi. Okay. What's this doing? The quick fade you can target cards your product controls up to the controls or in their graveyard up to the number of different card types, which are fusion you control and in your graveyard return to the hand. Hmm. I guess it's in my best interest to get rid of that monster. Then again, we it might have been good to get Triple Tactics Talents. It's cooking meth instead of math. <laughs> That's good. Send my beacon. Oh, nice. Yeah, you can't respond with monster effects, but you can with trap effects. What do you do? You shuffle them into the deck or send them to the graveyard? Where is it? I can't remember. Go to the grave. Edge and chain won't be too bad. I just can't... I can lose repair and chain. I can't lose patchwork. Oof. Or thrusts. That would hurt me too bad. Is anyone excited for the maxi sleeve? Me. I voted maxi. Slayer. Sick. Ferrage its effect. I wouldn't feel to uh, negate it. No, he's not negating. Alright, hit anything but the stuff I want. No! Sorry. That's heartbreaking. Mmm, bear, you can get out of here. I don't need you. 
No! Uh, <laughs> what do I do? I, I can't do anything. Activate Fright for a patchwork negate. I don't know. Um, normal summon. Battle phase. Attack. Hmm. Don't use effect. Don't use effect. 800. Activate effect. Add. Oh, you can't even dodge it. No way. I forget how stuff like this works. Hold on. There's two. Activate patchwork. Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> Bright everything. He's still got a gate. So when I throw out the max C, I'm done. A part of me thinks maybe I should have let them get this out first and then I could have I don't know only wing cunners if they time out True. to be fair that has happened before I've been in like a lose-lose situation I mean, do they have enough extra deck monsters to go for the game? Roach won't resolve. They'll uh, lap Lacian. Oh, okay. They won't. Okay. Nibiru won't resolve. Because they've got Laplacian. Sorry. 5100 damage. Oh, we could draw. Um, we'd have to. Oh, no. I'm alive. I don't play any traps, so I still don't have to worry about Lingaribo. He's going to have 4,000 life points on my turn after he uses Heat Soul again. All I gotta do is 4,000 damage. So possible. I just need to dodge this negate. And whatever that is. Whatever's in his hand. Ugh. Okay. I can do something with this. As long as everything doesn't get negated. Broken get 2100 attack. Maybe if he's worried about Nibiru. Okay, here we go. Normal summon. Fluffy Owl. Fluffy Owl's effect gets me polymerization. How do you feel about that? <laughs> this is insane. He's got everything. <laughs> that can't be fair. Negate with that. Or that, sorry. <laughs> it is still got a negate. I'm heartbroken. I'll be honest, I don't think they deserve uh, three diameter. I'm sorry, I'm sorry if you're a math mate lover, they don't deserve it. Also, I hate Super Factorial.
I'd call a judge over for cheating. <laughs> no. We cooked with them. He found the equation for victory. Yeah. Yeah. I think the, the thrust snipe from the hand is what hurt me the most. The Vela hurt as well, I'm not going to lie. They all hurt. The Ash Blossom, the, the, the Maxi, everything, everything cut me deep. The one Vela. Wow, I didn't know Mathbit played that many uh, hand traps. Vela, Droll, Max, Cyframe, Gamma, Ghost Ogre, Ash Blossom, Ghost Bell, Call by the Grave, Cross Out Designator, Imperm, Nibiru. That's insane. I guess, to be fair, they, they're so consistent with they only need to get one of their starters. It's crazy. We could have fused with hand. No, you, uh, do you mean, um, Fluffle Owl's effects? You can only use one of those effects per turn. Plus, my monster's effects were negated on the field. How many hand traps you want? Yes. Fluffle Dolvin and Toy Vendor? Oh, come on! Don't do this to me again. What are you doing? You special summon in? Please resolve. I don't want to have a repeat of last time. I'll literally cry. Yes. Beautiful. <laughs> it's a different person. They had a different name. Yes. That's, see, they've completely <laughs> pulled the opposite door. That was a different person, wasn't it? Yeah. I promise. Revenge. Maxi keeping them in check. That's what Maxi was designed for. <laughs> uh, Zisigard. Thank you so much for the 100, 200, 300, 400, 500 bits. Thank you very much. Thanks for supporting the channel. Are we doing well? Good luck in your doors today. Thank you. Well, we already had luck where we needed it. We got two insta wins, uh, two scoops to get us into uh, to master rank. And now it's just all, how far can we go? No hand drop this time. Foolish Burial Goods, I can send Toy Vendor. Toy Vendor will get me Edge Imp Sabers. Polymerization, Fuse Fluffle Dog. Oh, Normal Summon Fluffle Dog. <laughs> it depends. Risky Bidness. Hold on, let me send, send a wink emoji real quick. Mm, 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 mm. Okay. Right. I haven't played against uh, Dibalestar with Bistials before. Or have I? I just can't remember. Oh, we don't want his Nibiru. Ohio Sam. Ohio. Hi, Ziggy. Uh, Kika underscore BJ with the uh, emote only chat. Did that happen or did I miss it? I don't think that happened. Okay. Two minutes of emote only. We can do that. Hold on, let me get my little stopwatch. All right. Kika underscore BJ. Oh, it happened. You missed it. It didn't. It did. Okay, mixed messages here. What's going on? Not much. Climbing the ranks as you do. All right. Chat, we're going to dip into emote only mode for two minutes when I figure out where the hell the button's gone. Manage goals, six seconds. Prediction. All. Watch party. Schedule countdown. Play with viewers. Sound alert. I found it. All right. We'll be back in two minutes with chat. Have fun. There it is. 
I think only mods can chat in uh, emote only, actually. Two minutes of emote only. Uh, Kika BJ, thank you very much for the emote only, by the way. Sorry I missed it. I was distracted with winning, apparently. Apart from that, I've all. I did lose that one. And we're going to lose this tool. <laughs> Who's getting pet in that one? Pet, pet, pet. You know what's actually kind of nutty? Like, I wouldn't ever have thought it'd feel so busted. Link Karibo. Like, it's so strong in this deck. It's not broken or anything. It's just, it's another thing to worry about, isn't it? Like, if I attack, I have to attack this first, make my attack zero of my monster. And then they contribute another monster and get it back. Not in the same turn, though. But still. Hard to deal with. See, I don't play Ash or Droll, so I can't really stop all the add-in. I've got a call by the... I think I called by um, Princess. I think I had a duel where I was uh, called by in this. It was doing really well. But they put something in the graveyard, which ruined my day. I think it was the trap card, and I forgot about it. I need to keep that in mind. If there's a trap in the grave, they can dodge, like, called by and Maxi. Sharpe with the H2O? Uh, sure. Thank you for the water. Cheers. Ah, refreshing. Peeping after mass. Tomias, how's it going? Hello, hello. Uh, I do believe that's two minutes. Kika underscore BJ. Thank you for the emote only. <laughs> hello, everyone. Welcome back. Can we do a poll? Chat, there's a prediction for you to do. Can my Fright Fur deck beat this Snake Eyes player? You can see my hand. You can see their board. What do you reckon? Are we master yet? We are. We are. What's up about Fire Snake Eyes? Heard their tier zero. They do a lot of stuff. They have... A field you need to deal with. When the field goes away, there's stuff that's brought back or added back to the hand. So whatever you do to their field, they can just replenish everything for next turn to get back at you. The stuff that you're dealing with on the field is only half the battle. Because there's stuff in the graveyard you also need to deal with. And they can put your monsters in the back row. They can do a lot. They can do a lot. Uh, did he IP Masquerina that? I actually didn't see. Send, send, send. Send, send, link summon. Oh. No, that isn't protected by anything. Whoa. Any traps in the grave I don't know about? All right, let's, let's see if there's an Ash Blossom first. First thing. I think there is. Oh, okay, Maxi. This is fine.
You see my Exodia emotes? No, I didn't. Show me again. I'll try and be ready. Is there a flame burge in the graveyard? There is. What are you doing? Are you creating a monster card in your continuous spell zone, especially to your field. That's okay. Yeah, I'm going to keep Call by for the Princess. That's the one I'm most worried about. If there's an IP over there, maybe I would have been a bit worried. Or um, whatever the, the tuner is. Right, we're going to send a toy vendor. Since toy vendor was sent to the graveyard, I'm going to add a card. Spill magma hut sound. I like Dunas and Neos. Thank you very much for the sub. Thank you for the 22 months. That's 211 months. Thank you so much. Okay, so Fluffle Dog could have got me that. Mm. I guess that's more important. Both Fluffle Dog Resolve. Who knows? Activate Call by the Grave. Let's get Princess out the grave. That will only trigger if I special summon. His connection is weak. What, to his monsters? <laughs> okay, that's that done. Now... I think we... No, because I want... Um... Hold on, let me try and get this right. I need to normal summon Fluffle Dog, special summon um, Fluffle Dolphin. So we need to get rid of Penguin and Scythe. Maybe we could have gone for this later. I'm not too sure. Penguin, he drew a card. Scythe. This will let him special summon. This field spell. When do you blow stuff up? If this card is destroyed, you can target a link free or lower monster in either graveyard. Special summon it. Link free or lower monster on the field is destroyed by battle or card effects. While this card is in your graveyard, banish this card from your graveyard, destroy one card on the field. Oh, that's not too bad. Uh, do they have a link? No, they'll bring back IP if I destroy that. So... Let's not do that. Imagine if he has a second princess. Can he do that? Mm, okay. That stopped me from getting uh, my fright for uh, patchwork thing. What? Well, the alternate art one. Feet. Oh my god, I got just the card I needed. I got the dolphin! That's what I wanted! Woofed. Is this going to ruin my edge chain? If you banish it when it is sent to the graveyard, it's classed as not being sent to the graveyard, or have I already activated it so it will resolve? This will resolve, right? I'm pretty sure. I think. Oh, thank God. Um. Oh, I've already got Fright Fur Fusion in hand. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. All right, it's two monsters that can do me do me harm. First time I've seen Bestials in Snake Eyes. Uh, same for me. I haven't seen that before. Right. Polymerization. What do you see effect? Yep. Okay. We have lots of options here. Normal Summon Dolphin. There is a toy vendor in the graveyard. Forgot about that. No worries. Ah, oh, I see the Exodia. Wait, what's in the middle? 
Oh, the Chaz. <laughs> the Chaz cowering in fear. <laughs> Sick. Right. Fluffle Dolphin's effects. Toy Vendor in the graveyard. Set that. Get to send a card from the deck to the graveyard. Send Fluffle Wings. Let me just make sure there's a Fluffle in the graveyard. Yes, there is. Activate Toy Vendor. Hold on, let me just think about this one second. Okay. Toy Vendor. I'm going to send the Sabres because I want to use Sabres with Fusion. That's an amazing top deck. That was great. Toy Vendor. Actually, don't know if there's any more of them. Ooh, that might have been a misplay. No, we're okay. Fluffle Bear. Thin the deck for when we do that as well. Plus, we've got more bodies in the grave. Okay. Activate the effect of Fluffle Wings. Banish Bear. I'm not going to get Ash Blossom, so it's all good. Draw another card. Yes. Right for bear, nice. Draw another card. Let's add Fluffle Owl. How many more polymerizations have I got left in the deck? None. Okay. But, 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 I can do this instead. Hold on. Activate Toy Vendor. Send Fright Fur Repair. Top deck a card. No worries. Okay. Activate Fright Fur Repair. Special Summon Owl. Activate Owl's Effect. One. Two. Should I send three? Two's fine. That might be all right. I just need to hope they don't draw Nibiru, I guess. Or more Bestials. And then I'm going to make uh, Chimera. And again, I can send that to the graveyard. That might be better. Then I can just destroy it by battle. Then if he's got nothing on his field, he can't do anything. I think I could have brought back Edge Imp Saber. Oh, no, I couldn't. No, I couldn't. I guess I've got to get rid of it at some point. I'll do it now. Put one polymerization back in the deck. Alright. I guess wherever he targets, that's fine. Right. Final play. Bright for a fusion. I actually don't know if we can win. How many monsters have I got the graveyard? One, two, three. I can make a five attack Fright Fur Wolf. 
I wonder if it'll be enough. You know what? I'm just going to go for it and see what happens. One, two, three, four, five. Here we go. Don't tell me he's just drew a Nibiru. Uh, battle phase? Okay. Attack with 24. No. I forgot about the Lingaribo. The Link Karibo, the Link Karibo. I attacked with the wrong one then. If I cancel my attack, does it? No, it's, I think it's too late. We've lost. Oh, you can't use uh, IP Masquerina's effect in the uh, battle phase. That's good. Annoyingly, I got like a couple of her attacks. Can't win. Fair enough. Um, I know he's got like a million cards in his hand. I think Chimera could be a problem for him, being optimistic. I think we ban banish Flame Burge, maybe, and then that's our play. There's no way we win after that, Maxi. Mm. Link Karibo, Koshi Duel. That's, I did say at the start of the storm, like, I'm surprised by how good Link Karibo is now. Lamster, thank you for the H2O. I kind of need that right now. Thank you. I, You know what? I think there's a quick play that they could use to dodge this. I actually didn't... I don't remember all the cards in our hand. I only remember Droplet. Oh, okay, we got that. I wonder how much... Can they pop off much without Flame Burge? You could have kept attacking into Link Rebo and you would have been fine. Would I? It still made my attack zero though, wouldn't it? And then I would have lost my multi-attack. Which, I guess, was less. Can Fright Fur beat Snake Eyes? 23% said yes, 77% said no. Ooh, I wonder. I'm not very confident here. But we've done quite well. But the, it, again, the problem with Snake Eyes is there's just too much to deal with. You saw how much I had to deal with on that field. And then I had to deal with something in the graveyard. And yet there was still more. There was still a Link Rebo in the grave. 
Um, they were still able to get the, the Link 2 back on the field, which triggered the Link 4. They activated Link Reborn on attack declaration, so you were fine. Oh. Oh, I see what you mean. So I could have attacked into that monster, and then the next attack, they could have Link Reboed. I don't think it worked like that. I guess that makes sense, though. You can target one effect monster. He can't target that. So I guess that didn't do anything. And keep in mind, there's a polymerization in my deck, actually. Now I think about it. Oh. It's going in the back row. I hate that. They skip the balancing phase of card production. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Um... Who would get over Chimera? I don't know. So just make sure. One polymerization of the graves, one in the deck. Fright fur, pat work, patchwork, two fright fur patchwork. Is there one more fright fur patchwork in the deck? I think so. So wait. If I do that though. I don't think I've got anything to fuse with though, if I do that. Oh, and I think he's got an Ash Blossom in his hand. Now I think about it. <laughs> and a call by face down. He'll draw a card with that. Oh yeah, there's a droplet somewhere in the deck. That's true. And he'll draw a card now if he puts it back in the... Hey, I drew mine! Oh, it's gone. <laughs> that would have been nice. Well, I got my Fright Fur back. Thank you. Randy regained. Mm. Maybe summoning wasn't a good idea. Flameberg. Do you even do you target? You can target one special summon monster. Okay, okay. I guess I need to get his life points low. Priority. Woof! Hefty damage. Continue, I believe. <laughs> we did it. <laughs> there you go. Proof. Fright fur. Time limit win. To be fair, we, we were running low on, on time at one point as well. And who said I couldn't do it? <laughs> Can Fright Fur beat Snake Eyes? Yes. Yes, they can. Thank you for believers. Appreciate it. <laughs> uh, three more wins. Could be done. Cool. What all those combos got you? <laughs> you stand on a throne of lies. Snake Eyes. Okay, I don't do that again, though. That was so much work. That was like a really long duel. <laughs> the one win. I have hope in the world now. Hope. No field, no card sleeves, no ifs, no buts, no coconuts. I'm always worried about these. Is it something wacky or just something they're trying out?
Here we go again. I don't think I can pull that off twice, chat. This hand isn't as strong. But I mean, we can... Chat, be careful with this one. Can Sprite Fur beat Snake Eyes again? Go. Go on, chat. You can vote again if you want. I don't feel as confident this time. There he is. The little troublemaker, Link Karibo. Maybe we call by that instead of Fire Princess. No, we don't do that. We go to Fire Princess. I believe in time. Okay, it's it's about the same prediction score. Seventy seven percent people say no again. <laughs> Thoughts on banning Link Karibo? Is that a thing? Is that something that's actually happened in the TCG? That's not something I've thought of. It doesn't feel like it needs banning, but at the same time, it's very good now. But it's not been good for ages. It's just been a card. So, I don't know. Between you can know now, we can just punch one in Karibo. Kind of want to activate the search spell in the draw phase. Oh, you mean his? Oh, you mean this one? Yeah, because draw. Oh, no, I guess it I guess triggers draw still. Ooh, okay. I can deal with that. Don't ban Link Kribo. I need it in my Kribo deck. Let Kree Link Kribo shine for once. You know what? Yeah. Give Link Kribo its time in the spotlight. Would we say it's the best Kribo? Probably. Lingaribo's not too bad. Link Kribo, Lingaribo. Original Kribo is a bit too old now. Wing Kribo, mm, it's not great. Magi Kribo. Curry Vault. Curry Babylon. That's the um, the ritual looking one, isn't it? S oh, Sphere Kribo. Still not a real thing. That should be made. Wait. Yeah, yeah, it's not a real thing. Oh, this seems like a manageable field. Curry Bros. Oh, the Kribo Brothers. Slayer. Get it out of here. Oh. I still have a really bad hand, by the way. <laughs> um... I kind of need him to use effect. Maybe I should have baited with something. I don't know. <laughs> Normal summon edge imp scythe. Profit. <sighs> Just pass. I'll set call by. End phase. Activate Maxi's bait. It seems a waste, though. Like, if they don't do anything. All right, I'm just going to shotgun Maxi. Can't be dealing with uh, triple tactics, talents, or anything like that. All right, we've got to wave it. Will they just end their turn? If I draw any Fluffle monster, we're okay. Ah, oh, Kreeborn. Okay. I beg of thee a decent card. Up. No! Oh no! Maybe we should have waited. In hindsight. If I normal summon, he'll special summon. That's the only thing. I'll go for it. Normal summon edge imp scythe. I mean, maybe I should have done this. Last turn. Normal summon this. He uses that. I use Max C. 
I think I misplayed last turn. I really do. I think I've thrown. Is that it? Oh, that was an effect. Oh. That's not what I thought was going to happen. Oh, it's not a quick effect. Sorry. During your opponent's turn, quick effect, you can target one monster card. Treat as a continuous spell on the field for a minute. Okay, that's not how that works. I've read the effect now, now I know. I thought he was going to bring something back from the grave. That's not how it works. <laughs> Ow. It's hit my foot. <laughs> I refuse to look at what you just targeted. By a Ballastar. Hmm. Why did you summon the monster in attack? Um, I don't know. I don't know. Sam, if you've got that dog in you and you pull off this win, I will send you my personal Dark Magician deck with its custom deck box I have from my business. Oh my god. I don't think we're winning, but <laughs> that's a nice offer. God, I wish I had Max C. Should have waited. Oh my god. 8, 9, 10. GG. Oh. Okay. Put me in control to Brande Fleur. What Synchro Monster did you send for Slayer? Oh yeah, I forgot that was in the grave. Uh, Wind Pegasus. Another card you control is destroyed by battle and opponent's card effect. While this card is on the field or in the graveyard, you can banish this card. Target one card you put in control, shuffle it into the deck. Brande Fleur, attack, effect, bounce it. Mm, it happens in the damage step. No, it doesn't. Attempt to bounce Baran, he negates, and then hopefully we can resolve something else. That's the play. Oh, they had Droll. Yeah, they could have maxi uh, drawled my max. That's true. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Down the gate. You gotta put your monster in the spell and trap zone. All right. I'd have to draw Fluffle Dog to stay in this duel. And I need to not get interrupted. Well, I can get interrupted, actually. But the Fluffle Dog's the most important. Mm. I mean, I could normal summon it attack into that. But... Oh my god. Okay. My thrust is live. That's nice. Oh, I can go for something actually now. I have a play. Uh, bait with bear first. See if they got an ash blossom, which I think they do. Mm, I think they have an Ash, actually. I think we kind of screwed here. No, I'm thinking of a different duel. They don't have Ash. Sorry. I've gone insane in the brain.
Okay, Triple Tactics Talent is live. So I can either draw two or add Fright for Fusion now. Hmm. Or I... Oh, no, I can't use that because I've got all the polys in my deck are in my hand. Gamble on a triple tactics? Never mind. You know what I should have done? Use Toy Vendor. Like, they might have Ash Blossomed it, you know. Like, genuinely. Legit, uh, if top deck, Fluffle Dog, my only hope. Waste of Polly. I mean. It won't help, but still, it's nice. Yeah, I think we could have risked the toy vendor effects, sacrificed one polymerization. Then again, I didn't know they had a uh, ash in their hand. It's a hindsight kind of thing. And then if they would have fell for that bait, it's hard to say. How do you get Fluffle in Master? By playing a lot, I think. <laughs> nah. They've got too much advantage now. It's like, you can see why this is rogue and something like that is meta. Like, all they need is one card and they can just generate stuff and get more and more. Whereas me, I have to have three cards minimum. And they sort of have to be specific cards. I have to have one Fluffle, one Edge Imp, and one Fusion Light card. There's no, like, one-card starter in my deck, so... It's a shame. Bye, Penguin. That is game. Bottom Blade. Compare this deck to Roids. Oh, yeah, Roids were trash. This is so much better than Roids. Like, a million times better. Okay. Well... You can't win a fall. Can Fright Fur beat Snake Eyes again? No. Chat, I'm, thank you if you believed in me. But let's, let's be realistic, all right? We can't win them all. Try again, shall we? To be fair, you bricked hard. I did, to be fair, yeah. But I think I could have played it a little bit different. I think if I would have normal summoned, they activate the field spell, I would have max seed. I forgot what card I drew um, as my next card. But that might have been a bit of a better move. Okay. Droplet with two cards that have effects if they're sent to the graveyard. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Nouvelle? Dogmatica. Woof. Oh, this is good. Uh, the last Dogmatica player, it was Dogmatica Labyrinth. They summoned out uh, wh whatever its name is. And I got to send... Uh, who was it now? Entis and Garura to the graveyard. And quite a few... Uh, Scoopers today. Maximus, thank you. My Maximus Dogmaticus Aurelius. Scary aura. Mm. Oh no, I just played this guy. Not again. All right, chap. 
I'm pretty sure this is the same. No, was that Blade? Was it Blaze? I think it was Blade, actually. Ignore me. Was it Blade or was it Blaze? It's the same deck. Manage prediction. Can Fright Fur beat Snake Eyes again? Again? <laughs> the last one was Blade. Oh my god. I feel like I'm in a dodgeball. Blazer. Blade. Michelle. Total skill based win. Love that movie. Dodgeball's great. Ball me, bleat. What's he say? Ball me, laser. Banished decks would work really well against um, Snake Eyes, yeah. What are we going to do here? Um, I need Patchwork to resolve because I need a Edgimp to fuse. Or I need a third monster so I can at least attempt to go for a Chimera. Hmm. I think they're going full combo. They look like they know what they're doing as well, so... And they've got a Fire Princess icon and sleeves. It's an uphill battle. If you dodge traffic, you can dodge a ball. Necessary? Is it necessary for me to drink my own urine? No. Well, it's sterile and I like the taste. <laughs> Great film. Dodgeball archetype win. <laughs> Got a dodge, duck, dip, dive, and dodge. That is a very reasonable field. <laughs> no way! Woo! I can't wait. I, I thought that as well. What happened to the synchro? Chat, if you keep believing in me, I will keep believing in you. Can Fright Fur beat Snake Eyes again again? Technically, yes. Yes, they can. They messed something up. Yeah, they did. I had so much faith in them as well. Thirty six. Nice. You forgot to use the princess for Flameberg. Ah, oh, mm, Hungry Burger, Icon and Mate. Very cool. What's up, Sam? How are you? I'm okay, thank you. Had a good day today. Uh, clapping on Mastered All, sort of. Okay, if we see a Snake Eyes, we'll do another poll. <clears throat> Special Summon Diabell Star. No. Harpies? Very cool. It's a shame I can get rid of their Synchro, but you never know what they go for. Oh, they might get the trap. Um, Harpy's Feather Storm. That would uh, ruin my day. Do you play Super Poly? No, I dabbled with Super Poly. It can work in the deck, but I don't personally like it. I I just didn't have a good time with it. Can they add Feather Storm with that? No, they can't. It's unsearchable, I'm pretty sure. Harpy's Feather Storm. Did you accidentally click the event? No. No, I don't think I did. Okay. This is an amazing hand, by the way. It's really cool. Uh-oh. Oh, no! Um. Oh, they got me. Wait, but can they OTK? If you control Wing Wing Beast Monster until the end of the turn, you get any... Monster effects? Oh! That's fine. Wait. Yeah, that's fine. 
Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Monster effects, right? I read that right. I, I haven't. My, my brain is working. That will go to the grave. Slayer. Back into the deck. Sorry. Show me. Okay. Wait, does it only negate um on field? No, any. Any. So we want Dolphin for next turn. And we'll be safe. Oh, I should have taken um, Pingu. I might have been able to win. And the question is, is my opponent going to OTK me next turn? Probably not. No. Can I go for game? No. I'm going to wait till next turn. I don't want to waste anything there. Um, I confuse if I absolutely have to. Yeah, I, I know I'm on second turn, but any any mon all my monster effects were negated uh, for the rest of the turn because of Harfie's Feather Storm. The last Snake Eyes opponent had full combo, but they misplayed by putting Oak in the Spell and Trap Zone instead of Flameberg. I see. Okay. I mean, we played with this during the event, and we learned that it was very. They don't really have a win condition in the deck. They've got some cool cards, obviously, like that trap that we just had. But it's tough for them to win. I mean, they probably have the wind barrier statue in their deck. That seems like something they would do, but I guess they can't get it out right now. Interesting. Gains 2400 attack while your opponent has no monsters in their graveyard. You can target one monster in your opponent's graveyard, shuffle it into the deck. Okay. My Synchro. Waft. Big boost. Hold on, let me think. Activate this. This goes to the graveyard. No. You can do damage. Or you don't OTK me. I guess I can take control of it if you use it. I needed you in a prior duel, by the way. Fluffle dog. Oh, wait. No. Polymerization. Should have normal summoned Fluffle Dog first. I've learned my lesson. Never mind. All right. Don't need to worry about that anymore. Because it'll be mine. Oh, no. He can banish... That's fine. It's a bit annoying, actually. Whatever that is. That's fine. Um, I can live with that. Oh, feet, Ash Blossom. No. <sighs> Called by. That was actually a good shout. Um... Triple Tactics Thrust, while my opponent controls a monster. Let's take Triple Tactics Talent. Come to me. 
Triple attack takes talents. Take control. How can we get an attack boost? Oh, well, there's no monsters. You can have an Ash Blossom back. Okay. Summon Dolphin. Activate Dolphin. Set that. Send that. Look at Graveyard. Activate that. Did you enjoy Arc 5? I think overall I did, yeah. Um, there was a problem with it in the middle. And overall, I didn't like the ending. Um, it felt rushed. I don't know. I liked the Zark Battle Royale. I kind of liked the twist of the main character eventually becoming the main villain. Um, but I, I feel like there was a lot of missed opportunities with the show. Like the Yuzu girls felt important to the plot and they were important to the plot. But then they just got pushed to the, the wayside. We didn't see enough of the other Yuya's. Um, like Yuto got cut out of the show really early. And then I guess he becomes a part of Yuya. Um, Yuri never really got a redemption. I think it would have been nice. Like my ideal ending was Zark turns evil. Duels all the characters he normally does. That was fine. Then the four Yuya's, maybe they have like a mindscape... Uh, duel the four individual New Year's versus Zark or something. I don't know and they can reconcile a little bit and get some closure on that and then When the world merges back together, I feel like you don't turn those four back into Yuya Because you kind of are raising them their characters you turn them back into the original Zark, but now with like the collected knowledge of all of them. I don't know It just seemed a shame it seemed like a really, really cool idea for a Yu-Gi-Oh! series. And I really like the animation in a lot of duels. And I really like the music in a lot of duels as well. Um, but it just had some problems. And some of them have seen the legacy characters pop up. Like, it had so much going for it. Can you do a Toon Deck stream? I think that would be loads of fun role-playing picks. We've already done that one. We've done to uh, Toons. Um, we started off with a pure Toon Deck. And then we slowly uh, descended into uh, Toxic Tunes, if I remember correctly. This is not a great hand. That's such a shame. Um, I can make a Garura. That doesn't feel like a great thing to do. But that's kind of all I've got going for me at the moment. You get Chimera out? Nah, I need another monster. Take that for next turn. Oh no, I've got no more polymerizations left. It's dead. Planner playing Resonators. Jack Atlas's deck. Well, we played them in an event once. I did enjoy them. Uh, we probably should have knew that was going to happen. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. We, we're done. GG. Yeah, so this is probably the worst we've bricked. Which is a shame because we had some good cards. Just not enough stuff.
yeah, I guess if you go on YouTube and you... Ugh, dimensional barrier. Uh, we've cooked, we've cooked. Go on TGS Anime VODs tune. It should be on there. How are the current events in Mass Store? Um, I was one of the few people that liked the Link... Uh, what was it? Link... Link Synchro event? Because I was just playing Charmers and just taking all their monsters and ruining their day. Uh, but my, from what I hear, people don't like it because it's just synchro spam. Turns take too long. Um, the other one was fine. They're all right. You play Duel Links? I used to. I used to play it uh, all the time. But since Master Duel came out, I haven't really gone back to Duel Links. I went back for the the Rush World. That's about it. Uh, Exocell. How's it going? I'm doing okay, thank you. Using heroes in this event. Ow, my droplet. Underroot. You don't see that very often. <laughs> Just put a polymerization back in my field. That was kind of cruel. That's funny, he replaced uh, patchwork with polymerization, which gets me polymerization. That's GG. The Mizar raid. That was really fun. There's a tier 0 Tachyon deck at the moment. Woofed. No Maxi. That's true. That was kind of cool. GG's and good luck. Good luck to you too, Primetime. Raid Raptor deck. If you like the arc. Play Ultimate Falcon. He better not overplay. Mm, we'll see. I should be dead. Yep. 500 more attack points. Literally link them into something. I mean, <laughs> Dueling's isn't bad. It's It's got some good qualities, and you can have a lot of fun. I think it's more... If you like the anime, you got a lot of anime fun to have in there. But it is expensive if you want to take it seriously and ranked and stuff. But if you just want to play it and have fun, you can do that. Then again, I haven't started a new account in a very long time, so I don't know what it's like. Lot of grinding. Lot of grinding. Which I'm not a huge fan of anymore. I remember like when new events came out and I used to stream and I was like, oh, I'm going to have to like get ready for the stream by grinding, which I didn't really like. It took up too much time. Did this guy purposely not beat me? Poor form. Get to attack one more time and didn't. Oh. I love it when people play meta decks and then they dunk on rogue decks. It's GG. Can't do anything. Shameless BMA. Yeah. I think I'll just go straight for the attack with my one face down. This is guaranteed to go through, I was going to say. If you want to make a second account, you can get Sword Soul Structure. Be pretty well off. Oh, we mastered all? That's true. It's like a decent start. You can make any deck, though. Like, it's, a, it's like a really good start, though. For someone. Why did I go back then? Why did I do that? I mean, look, on average, we're doing quite well with this deck. That massive win streak, that was nice. It's just... 
I guess it just depends what we go against and how often and what we're getting. Senor Tortuga, did I drink your water? I can't remember. Thank you for the H2O. I did not. Well, thank you for the H2O. Appreciate it. Keep me on. Yeah, thanks. Think of me as a Tamagotchi. Oh my god. Namelia. Okay. When they came out, I played them a few times, but now... I don't remember how to play against them. This is a nice hand. New Resonator Sport soon. Is Nema first or second turn? I think first turn, because they can protect their monsters, I remember. You can manage two cards, make step face down, add two level 10 monsters with different names from your deck. Now, can these inherently summon? Because I can't remember. If you have a face up pendulum monster in your extra deck, you can special summon this card. And a graveyard can match free casting extra step face down. Special summon it. I don't think they're inherent summons. I love that pizza dragon. It's so cool. It is an inherent summon. I'm sorry. Okay, that, that one I can chain to at least. It's all right. They've got Ash anyway, at a guess. Oh, no, they didn't. Sorry. What are you in? Ice cream? Oh, it is an ice cream. <laughs> it's got ice cream. Is it a pizza? What is it? it looks pizza-like, but it's got sweets. Wow, free fight, fight for patchwork. You're playing around Gamma, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But of course. Uh, Ash would suck, not gonna lie. Full house. Polly. Mm. Do they have any extra deck monsters? I, they've got an Xyz, right? If he had Ash, he would have used it for Max C. True. Face up monsters? That's okay. It'll keep its attack. Um, can I win? No, I don't think so. That's a shame. I can get kind of close, though. Wait. Wait. Carry the one, divide by two, for the power of five, um, um, uh, factor in Y. Wait a minute. Could this be? Battle. 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 Ooh, baby, a triple. Norton, leave me alone. Oh my god, we can rank up. Ooh, whale modifies attack for multiple monsters, not just itself. What do you mean? 
Well, multiple monsters. I can summon it a bunch of times and keep increasing attack of monsters, but one can only do one monster at a time. Is that what you mean? Oh. I've never lost an Amelia. Oh, yeah, yeah, it keeps the attack game. It's cool. My favorite thing. Oh. 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 Well, this is either going to be horrific or labyrinth, which is also going to be horrific, but okay. Okay. Set this. Oh, no, wait. Mm, I can... I'll blow that up. Yeah. Yeah. Summon thingy, pop that, pop that. If it resolves, obviously. I'm in for stun. Strong chance of stun. <coughs> oh my god. <coughs> it's stun. <clears throat> Sorry. <clears throat> That's just swallowed some spit. Well, right, technically I breathed in. Out of morphia. That's fine. I can deal with that. You know what? I didn't put two and two together with judgment then being um Dan all might. With Slayer in my hand, anything's possible. Mm, you know what he can do? That I've just realized might be a bad thing. Can't activate that card's effect in response. Activate a trap card instead. Chain to the trap card with the monster effect instead. But you need to know you can be able to do that to do that. Or else you don't think about doing that. So, I forgot what the card is. Uh, it destroys a back row. Night Beam. Activate Night Beam, target card. That face down card can't be activated in response to Night Beam. Activate a different card, respond to that different card, and then you can use it. I think they missed the trick there. But we'll see. Dynamorphy is a better design trap deck than Lab. True. Then again. They couldn't use Imperm, so they didn't have that option. Big on, Edgent Chain. Don't be called by, don't, don't be called by, don't be called by. Nice. Great top deck. I summon my Doge. Dog's effect. Actually, wait. Chain's more important. Dog less so. Ahoy, hoy. 2,000 life points. Has the Fluffle deck coming along? It's in Master. We might get to Master 4 if we win this one, I think. But who knows? Who knows? We're going to fuse with penguin sabers and then dump wings and then use wings in grave. What am I making again? That's fine. Tiger for game. What would? No. The final face down is, and if it was respondable earlier, is Solemn Strike. No, it wasn't. Ooh. Oh, okay. Um. They, 
They can't stop my damage? Hold on. Just make sure. When your opponent activates a card or effect, while your life points are less than 2,000, you can banish this card from your graveyard. I'm going to be very upset if they have some sort of, like, bestial or something. Because I'm just trying to be nice and not be M. Oh, thank God. <laughs> I think we rank up. Yes, we do. Ooh. Not bad. We're going up in the world. Kind of cool. I know the counter trap stop battle damage. Yeah, I, I remembered that, actually. I was looking for a counter trap. But I couldn't remember exactly what um, the normal ones did. Random battle feeder. I'd have cried. Sound deck profile soon. On what? I don't know if it destroyed itself. True. Took all their own life points away. Our fields match. I should probably put my field back to the, um, the candy one. It makes sense. In law. No. I don't like Labyrinth. I don't like Ku Clock, and I don't like Dimensional Barrier, whatever it's called. What are you doing? You're getting special summoned. Okay. Yeah, Labyrinth again. Never mind. This is uh this is not ideal. I think we've lost this one. Oops. Sorry, I just punched you chat. They banned Merle instead of Sprite Elf, or they banned Instant Fusion instead of Kick Close. Was this your wish list ban list? Mm. Hey Sam, do you think they'll hit Super Heavy Samurai in the next ban list? Weirdly enough, Super Heavy Samurai I've hardly seen in Master Duel. At the moment, like, obviously when it first got the new cards, it was everywhere, and it was really, really broken. But I've hardly seen it since. Yeah, they'll probably hit it. I don't know how they'll hit it. I, I don't really know how they got hit in the OCG. They hit the uh, the one that was, like, you can use a million times, right? It's only tier 3 now. Is that how high the power levels come? <laughs> Are she's you still legal? I haven't touched them since Brandy Fusion got hit. Uh, I'm pretty sure they're unplayable, whatever state they're in. I think they're all banned now. Apart from the damaging one. Keldo Medora at one. It was a banned. Soul Piercer, that's the one. Two clock. Oh, we dumped a dimensional barrier. That's kind of nice. Slayer's dead in my hand, unfortunately. Hmm. Barbar 900 GG. Thank you for the sub of the Twitch Prime. Thank you for supporting the channel. I appreciate it. 
Thank you, thank you. Just in time to watch me lose. Because I don't know what to do here. Uh, Droplet. Dump that. Dump that. Confirm. He'll chain the trap. Yeah, yeah. I just wanted it in the grave. Anyway. Mm -hmm. You're gonna talk about Fluffle Fright Throw on YouTube, as in like a dedicated video? Yeah, probably. Um, I don't know when though, because uh, what's my next video? The video coming out Monday, as long as I can stay on track, is Yu-Gi-Oh! Brains Ace Monsters, and then we're back to a duel analysis, aren't we? The yeah, we're on a duel analysis again. I haven't even picked the duel we're gonna do. And then I can go to an archetype video. Fryfer wouldn't be a bad shout to, to wrap up this. But I'm not sure. There's some other stuff I wanted to do. I'll see, I'll see. I don't know you just yet. I wouldn't mind negating that, to be honest. Sora versus Shea video. Wuffed. That'll be a big one. Cover snake eyes. That would be good. Couldn't negate everything. Oh my god. Chain six. Oh, it's chain burn. Is that dimensional barrier just so it gets set face down? I hope not. Mmm. I can make a Garura and do, I think, 100 damage because he can double damage. That's about it. That's the extent of my power. We might as well. YOLO, right? It was a combination of not a great hand, to be honest with you, and Slayer doesn't do anything against their deck. I could risk the top deck. Maybe we get something really, really good. And then I won't be able to kill this. We've lost anyway. I'm just going to blink him away, see what we draw, and then scoop. Not scoop, but just end turn. If we get that far. Oh, it's going to be droplet now? Oh, yeah, you're right. Oh, Ice Dragon's Prison. Whooped. Ice Sabers. Two clock on the field. I think you just bring that back. Okay, so we know my next door is Droplet. That is game. Uh, let's just let's just 
play on it. You never know. Maybe they'll scoop. Maybe their their dinner will be made, and they've got to go. Pray for bad connection. O oh, mighty Wi-Fi gods of the sky, please hear my cry. Transform their five-star connection into one. Bring me victory. Forgot the rest. Ooh, live replay. Leno Novus. I'm ready. As soon as we get OTK'd. Three, six, nine. GG. Mm hmm. Switch to attack, switch to attack, switch to attack for the banter. Bang, 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 bang. Okay. Okay. Better connection. So much more reliable than Exodia. Alternate win condition. Nice. Cool. GG. Labyrinth. It's tough. Once they start generating. Oh, my wind streak. Bum, 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 bum. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Leno, thank you for the replay. Uh, either of the top two replays from the festival. Both from the festival, with the bottom one being a goatee deck, while the top one was my Manadium. Um... Manadium. Yeah. Yeah. Wait till the butler comes. Oh, the butler still hasn't come yet, has he? Yeah, you're right. And I think there's still one more labyrinth. A uh, servant that still hasn't come to the game. Bro's got the uh, Sword Soul structure deck. Happy for him. Shishao. Effect, effect. Blackout. Strategist. Yep. Strategist token. He's going for Bronte Fleur. Okay. Strategy 1200 damage, blackout face down, and probably an imperm. Blackout, imperm face down, at a guess. Rota, Ash, unlucky. Field spell, negated. Double unlucky. Monster effect on the field. Triple unlucky, but wait. Amazing dodge. Two months in the field, blackout, unlucky. But wait. Special summon from the grave. Add from the deck. Special summon. Special summon. Activate field spell. Another vice of star frost. Stive of star frost. Pop. Special summon. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Vices Amateria. Oh, they had a droplet. I was close with the imperm. Manadium Prime Hearts. Hefty damage. Hefty damage. A little bit of damage. Right, can Sword Soul make a one card comeback? They don't have a Vishuda in the graveyard or anything. <clears throat> Leonard Novus, well done. Uh, that was impressive. You played through Ash, Droplet, uh, Shishao, 
And the Bronde Fleur, Four Negates. Easy peasy. I need to block them, sorry. Um, can I buy anything? I, I feel like spending something on something. Should we have one go getting all... Nah. I don't want just one, though, I guess. I guess I'd like one Opelousa. That would be nice. One more go. A singular pack for Opelousa. Honestly, I was surprised I won with that field they had. Oh, they did well. Dun, dun. Dun, 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 dun. Bum, bum. Bum, 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 bum. Arcane Air Force is meta, right? Like top tier deck. You can take the time to watch it. No, thank you for taking the time to accumulate enough points to submit it. I appreciate it. Nine, nine, eight, seven. We can take a hundred, right? Like ten thousand. What's the most tickets you ever had? Probably like 300. I try to get rid of them as often as possible. I don't really accumulate them. Not for me. Arcana Force someday, right? Yeah, I guess so. Oh, they had new support, actually. Didn't they? It makes them... Um, it, it lets them add the field spell, I think. It's like a discard one or something. Apollo's only cost you 3,000 pretty good tier zero arcana arcana force one hero bot hero field hero mate hero name e emergency call this might be heroes <clears throat> ah nice roll finish stratos going First, though. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's right. Going first. Plasma can ruin your day. Dark Lore can ruin your day. Mm. Let's do Arcana Force one day. Oh, my God. <laughs> so you want me to suffer. It's a nice Royal Finish Vion as well. This guy got all Royal Finish? I've got a Royal Finish Vion? No, I don't. Maybe I made that up. I think I do. I can't remember. The world. That's three royal finish cards so far. He's old. Mm -hmm. Oh no, they're gonna they're gonna blast something in my hand. Can't be dealing with that right now. Huh. DDR, no way. Increaseless hero deck. I see. Oh, they're going to bring back the Spirit Neos with that. That's kind of cool. Please play this deck next month. What, Heroes? Okay, I'm not going to get... Oh, no, I might get Neos Space and Aqua Dolphin. They'll bring it back with Cross Sheep. Oh, Neospatians. Woof. I summon Chrysalis Dolphin. Mm -mm -mm. 
Polly, what are we making? Oh, it doesn't have increase in the deck. I, oh, I see what you mean by increaseless. This is the FTK. What? Really? During my turn? Are you winning, Sam? On average, yeah. We've been doing quite well today. Probably lose this one, but... Maybe we can Slayer, Triple Tactics, Patchwork, Penguin, Owl. He makes the Neos Fusion our turn, which is just Calamity. Oh. Oh, no. Have you ever played a mixed deck? For example, like a Blue Eyes Bestial? We did do that. We played, um... We actually played a Blue Eyes Bestial. Blue Eyes Chaos. Blue Eyes something. Yeah, we play mixed decks. I try to keep them pure sometimes, just to give them a go, like the whole archetype. Then you realize, mm, some of these cards are definitely cuttable. And it'd be better with mixing it with something else. But I've played mixed decks before. Like my uh, my Charmer deck. That's mixed with some stuff. Deppy Noob, how's it going? Oh, I played uh, Cyber Dark Roids. That was mixed. <laughs> Is that a huge yeah? Oh boy. 60 card deck. Got separate mom's 50th birthday today. Oh, yesterday. Happy birthday for your mom yesterday. Big 5 0. Did you do anything special? Neospatian Panther in the grave. Am I going to get Nebula Neos? Oh my god. He can summon a Zalanthus like that? One plus effect monster. Insane. Went to a Spanish restaurant. Nice. All that for that. So what's the catch here? What what what's gonna do me in? What sort of season of GX is this? Ah, okay. There's Grand Mole, there's Panther. Am I going to get Nebula Neos or the one that you just said? Into Cosmos. All right, I'm ready. Cosmo Neos. Must be special summon from an extra deck by shuffling the above cards. If this guy is special summon from the extra deck, you can activate its effect. For the rest of this turn, your opponent cannot activate cards. Also, cards your opponent controls cannot activate their effects. Your opponent can activate cards or effects in response to this effect's activation. Once per turn, during the end phase, shuffle this card into the extra deck, and if you do, destroy all cards your opponent controls. So... <laughs> That's it. That's done. What... <laughs> Why do they keep printing cards with these stupid, like, you can't play any more effects? It's ridiculous. So if I set anything face down, it's just going to get blown up. I can't even slayer it away. End phase. I'm a my wat mo shinderud. I love watching my opponent play. Oh, I wanted to take on a fusion duelist with my fusion deck. At least it's not Inspector Border. Yeah, I guess. He needs 300 attack points to win. If he had one hand trap on his first turn, his combo would have crumbled. I guess.
Brave Neos. That has an animation. Fair enough. Fallen Hero Bot. GG. I sleep. Heroes are pretty much plug gate decks nowadays. Uh, Plasma, Dark Law, that thing. Imperm stops it. No, Imperm, you can't activate Imperm in response to its effect or something like that. So no. I needed a, a maxi to go into Nibiru or something there. That was probably my only chance. Even then, actually, that's kind of hard to say. Oh, yeah, yeah, Dark Angel, that's true. You have to negate the trap. Oh, no. We could go down a rank. Evil protagonist versus me. So I know you like heroes, but I honestly hate them. Ah, oh. ah, oh. but fair enough. Sword Soul. All right, he's got the long one. Long Yuan, long one. She shall add blackout probably. Draw a card, add blackout. Who's got the bigger ego to survive? Yeah, it's like blue luck. Gotta be an egoist here. Long Juan. Long Juan. Forgot Yu-Gi-Oh was a can be a single player game. Yeah. Do we have a synchro target slayer? We do. We've only got one though, which is a shame. So I can't use two. Got Sky Pegasus. So, he won't be able to use Baron in response. Oh, did he add Blackout? I didn't see. Oh, no, he added uh, Tyre. Sam, did you want to switch out your field? I did, but I forgot. I can get rid of Baron. Ow. Blackout. I remember a while ago where this used to be such a broken field where it was just like, oh, I've got to negate, another negate, and I can pop two. And now it's like, that's not that bad. After going after like snake eyes and all that kind of, ugh. That's a bit annoying. Cardians are designed to be one player. That's true. Crazy. Pet power creep, yeah. It'll get you. Honestly, I wouldn't mind getting... Oh, I've got both polymerizations in my hand. <laughs> no. Probably game. Uh, City Boy Peru, how's it going? Did I play you today? Who? What was you playing? Were you the hero player that absolutely clapped me? What was everyone's favorite meta to play? I was the hero guy. Ah, okay. <laughs> Uh, City Boy Peru, well done. While I was upset that I couldn't play, it was impressive, I must admit. 
And I run Cloud Beast to send with Slayer. It's only because my extra deck is getting a little bit too tight now. I don't play Floodgate. <laughs> it's a shame. I had, um, I think, I forgot what my hand was. I had a good hand. Uh, I even had an Ultimate Slayer. So I was even going to send your Link or whatever fusion. And I was being told what Cosmos does. And I was like, oh, oh dear. And what says Tillament is lying? I didn't mind the Tillament meta. Only because I was playing Tillament at first. Like when I was playing Tillament against Tillament, it was fun. But it got exhausting playing Tillament over and over and over and over and over and over again. So that wasn't very fun. And then if you didn't play Tillament, you'd play something that hard counters you. Which also got very annoying. Um, I don't miss the Eldritch meta because that's when they had like Imperial Order, the one that stops like spell cards from being activated and everything. That was sucky. Um, I didn't mind the Sword Soul stuff, but you saw Protoss a lot, a lot back then, and I don't like Protoss. I don't know. I'm not sure what my favorite meta was. I don't like this meta. I'm not a big fan. Snake eyes. Random meta was the best because its boards weren't impossible to beat. Oh, I can, uh, I can do something with this. Send Shaman of the Ten Yi. Okay, blackouts over there. I'm surprised I didn't die then. Tri Brigade Ferrigit. I get to draw a card, then put one back into the deck. Nice! I'll put Polymerization back into the deck. Mm, activate Patchwork. Polymerization and... Yeah, you. Set that face down. Activate polymerization. Ferrigit Clutch. That was a new addition to the deck as well. I only just recently put that in. So he's going to use Blackout in response. Which is fine. Uh, he may even destroy my back row. Which is also fine. <laughs> Uh, called by would suck here. I want. I want. I don't want to be called by it. Imperm. That's no worries. Honestly, part of this is the fact that you can just bait uh, imperms and things like that, and I still have a secondary effect to do with it. Okay. Uh, how about we make um, another one of those, shall we? Oh, no. You know what they're going to do? They're going to blow up both of them. I didn't think of that. Ah, well. You get what you get, I guess. Ah, we should have just attacked, shouldn't we? And he would have blown both up. We should have just attacked. That was my bad. Oh, well. Oh, no. Wait. I swear he put a blackout face down. Have I gone crazy? I'm sure he did. Didn't he? Did he? Did I see that? Did I? Hello? <laughs> well. Uh, looks like uh, we uh, might do well. Maybe I got my duels mixed up. Maybe it's a different duel I'm remembering. You don't have a quick effect, do you? Sea brews. Uh, 
Uh... This guy seems to be guitar. Once per turn, you can tell you one destroy it, and if you do, destroy it. I forget how it works. Um. If we don't kill this turn, they have long in hand. Okay. No. No. Okay. Nice. 48. Day 5. GG. That wasn't so bad. I was just convinced. I was convinced there was a blackout face down. I don't know where that came from. It's a cross out. I mean, do with a cross out. That wasn't so bad. Sam has a bigger ego. <laughs> I need to get my goal. I need to get my, uh,. Did I say my chemical reaction? My formula. GG. Oh, I, I know you're talking about something else there, but I hated the runic meta, yeah. Runic meta was awful. I, I, I tend to have a bad time against uh, Gene Raider. When they get set up, they're quite hard to beat. The RV Max with Weather Painters in full power runic meta. That's impressive. Well done. Uh, what do you negate? Do you do? It's fine. Early meta? If they didn't end on a 10 material Zeus. <laughs> I'm cooked? No, surely not. The storm. Summon this. Should we Nibiru our own board? Maybe we should. Maybe. Right. Whale's effect. What would you get rid of? The field spell? Okay. What else do they have? You can use that effect once, can't you? You can use this effect of Haas once per turn, yes. It's a face down imperm. Oh my god, I have a plan. Okay, I have to let that die. I see it'll get negated anyway, won't it? Yeah, okay. I think I, I think I can win with two Nibiru's in my field. It just depends. Wait, what's in my grave? What's in my hand? Yes.
the Biru. The Biru. Don't mind the dog. You know what I mean? It's all a part of the plan. We're good. I thought they had a an imperm there. I think I'll take my talents. I'll add it to my hand. I'll activate triple tactics talents. And Interrupting my song. And I'll take back my Nibiru token. He should have knew something was up, but I summoned a token in attack. Both of these? <laughs> Sounds a replay. Chris, I do apologize. We shall... One minute wait. Those are rookie numbers. I've copied it. I'm ready. Okay, it's another Snake Eyes duel. Here we go. Can Fright Fur beat Snake Eyes again, again, again? I've run out of space. Again. Times three. There you go. 6,900 attack, 6,900 defense. Oh, I didn't notice. Excuse me. I had a day wait before. <laughs> this deck got to deck got to master better than Roids. A lot better. Roids were trash. I'm sorry. So bad. Uh, this hand's not great. This hand's really bad, actually. I don't think we can win. Chat, I, I beg you, don't vote for a uh, yes. 52% think that they Fright Bird can beat Snake Eyes again. Don't you see how bad this hand is? Flaming Man only has one Ming. Is that true? I never know, Steve. Well done. Flameberg. Come with confidence. It's in the unoptimal line. I mean, <laughs> I don't know the lines. All right. I don't have a way to stop IP, unfortunately. It's a lot of back row. Best I can do is banish Fire Princess. Hey, look, Penguin. Hell of a lot to deal with now. I've got to deal with Promethean Princess in the grave, Link Karibo in the grave, uh, Amphibious Swarm Ship when it's destroyed. This now, uh, what's he gonna make? 
It's not what I thought it was, actually. I thought it was going to make a Baron. No, they don't have an Ash. Oh, Appaloosa, that's the one. To be fair, if I can take Appaloosa, I can profit. Oh my god. Oh, alternate art. Come to me. Wait, what's in my hand again? Our alt art, Appaloosa. Yes. So you see what I mean by snake eyes, right? Like, that field went, and now it's back. With a vengeance. Link Kriva to protect it. Oh, you mean the... Oh, they'll link it away. Yeah. I'll just have to take one of their cards instead. Right, so basically I'm cooked next turn, and that means we have to win this turn. Simple as. Alright, three negates. Main phase for a, uh, for the opponent. Um, Slayer can't help me right here. Fright for fusion could. Mm. I'm gonna get that though with uh, Edge Imp Chain, I guess. Oh well. I'm gonna go for Kraken instead. Kraken, send a card. And then see what we get. Just the dude's names. Yeah, yeah, I read it earlier. <laughs> Might regret that actually. Probably should have done that the other way around if they got an ash. I don't think they do, but. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah! Uh. You didn't say the magic word! Can't stop that. My Appaloosa alternate art, which isn't actually mine. Next, yeah, I could have used you. Earlier. Mm. I do have a normal summon. I could make... Where's that going? In the back row? Sure.
Okay, I'm gonna use Fright Fur Bear. I'm gonna put Kraken back into the deck. Still a face down over there. I don't know what it is. Just summon a monster. Yes. Summon Penguin. We've already used its effect though. <sighs> what a waste of a maxi. Oh well. Chimera. One. Maxi. We thought these three wacky monsters could do something together. Chimera. I don't get to draw anything though. I get to draw one, sorry. What can I make? Oh my god. I shouldn't have won. <laughs> I should not have won that, by the way. Um, I would have made one monster attack into his monster, attack with the other monster, done a bit of damage. But no. I shouldn't have won that. He had, he had loads of stuff in his hand. He had uh, Div Incarnate in his hand, and I think he added some of the other stuff to it. Seems like you were wrong, Sim. Yeah. Yeah. Take it, though. Open Legacy Packs. I don't know how many I've got at the moment. Pretty quickly, though. Chris Jew. And there's only one, and you might like this. Oh, does this appeal to my sensibilities? I'm ready. Always bet on the underdog. Oh, wait. That was a, a prediction. Choose outcome. Can Fright Fur beat Snake Eyes? Yes. And I was really pessimistic. Who would have thought? Okay. Wait, strength in unity? You have my attention. Dark Magic Circle. Magic Circle gets us... Nothing. That's okay. What are you doing for us over there? Nothing until we've Ritual Fusion. Dark Magician versus Blue Eyes. Cool. And Meon. Field Spell. Got a Soldier of Chaos. It's very Yugi themed, I'll allow it. Hefty damage. What's the gross in strength? I put 3k on you to win. That was amazing. What did you win? A 3k. We got 33,000. Wow. <laughs> oh, nice. Bit underwhelming from the opponent. <laughs> they didn't do very much there, but Dark Magician for the win. We can't uh we can't complain about that. His grandpa's deck has no pathetic cards, true. Very good. Chris, well done. How long was that wait? 13 minutes. Not too bad. And then we go another one. Gunvoltic. Uh, newest one. Uh, even though it says I won, I am 90% sure I was cooked after everything finished up. <laughs> well, that would be like us in that last all. Like, I couldn't have won it all that turn. They had so much stuff for next turn. Ah, okay. Gate Guardian ABC. He busted. Drake, Union Driver, Union Driver gone, C Crush Wyvern, C B. Oh my god, you can spell C B A, I've just realized. Ninja Fairy Dragon. C B A, well done. Wow. That's actually really cool. Claywing Synchro Dragon. Merrymaker Spriggans. 
Champion Sargas. Kazajin. And then you're going to get ABC Buster Thingy. Oh my god, you can spam Wall Shadow. You're going to make the spell negate one, aren't you? You're going to put water on the field? Draco Future as well? Oh my god. Oh my god, this is disgusting. Oh my... Please tell me you make... Um, get Guardians combined as well. One, two... He has. He's done it. Bro, calm down. What, you think he could have cooked you? What are you talking about? Allure. And me on. Yeah. Yeah. Got one more to get, haven't we? CB and Terry Hun. Now, the only thing I was surprised you didn't negate, which I probably would have, was the uh, Into the Void. I guess he was only going to draw one card, though. Holy hell. You have the most broken field ever. I... We negate the Electromite, don't we? Do we still have a, have a negate? I think so. This is going to be a timeout win. Or I guess you're waiting for when they come at you, right? Triple Cerberus. Oh my god. Oh wait, you can uh, you can you can bounce back. Oh. Did they run out of time? That's nuts. Good Voltic, well done, though. Uh, I didn't expect them to, to make a comeback at all, then, by the way. <laughs> they did well. They had two months in the gates, wouldn't have mattered. 8 4 8. Woof. Someone asked about the legacy packs. Here you go. I got 40. Have a count out a pendulum deck. That's why I hate them. <laughs> That's weird. I spoke about this card today because it's part of the Link Frames Ace Monsters. Oh. Never had a Fiend's Mirror before. Great card. Cool card. Not good though. Invincible Fortress. No spaceship. Right. Why is Solomo glowing? Uh, because there is one mission I haven't done there. But I'm waiting for another one to come before I play it. Which one is it again? What was the most recent one? Mayakashi, I think. Mayakashi. Alright. That'll do me. I thought we did really well today. Um, we've gone up to Master Rank. Free win streak, two more wins for tier three. Like, I'm actually stopping on a win streak. That's pretty good of us, and we've done well today. Yeah, uh, happy with that. Chat, you've all been awesome. Thank you so much for stopping by. Uh, hope you have a nice week. I will try to do a dual room and a replay day this week. So, if not early in the week, I'll be in later in the week, but it's gonna happen because I don't want to miss one. So, keep your eyes peeled for that. But it won't be Saturday, I don't think. It won't be Saturday, it'll be midday. Midday, midweek. I wasn't expecting the market up to do well. I'm kind of surprised as well. Doing better than I thought it would. All right. Bye, everyone. See you soon. Catch you later.